Sports News at 5. The Commission should deny TransCanada's motion for amendment uh, of its route, and this matter should be disposed of and closed with the PSC. Another possible roadblock for the Keystone XL pipeline. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. The Nebraska Public Service Commission held another hearing on the proposed XL pipeline. It heard from TransCanada, landowners, and Native American representatives about the decision that it made last month. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Bailey Bischoff has more details in our top story. Bailey? The commission voted just a few weeks ago to approve the Keystone XL pipeline, but the route they chose wasn't TransCanada's choice, and opposers are still concerned. The biggest question to come out of the Public Service Commission's latest hearing on the Keystone XL pipeline, whether or not it had the authority to approve the alternative mainline route, though it wasn't a focus of the application and if TransCanada can move forward with the project at all. TransCanada representatives say yes. The commission did have authority to approve it and they should be able to file an amended application. Keystone then would submit its amended application by January 19th and if the commission determines it, determines it appropriate, any concerns specific to the mainline alternative could be addressed. But lawyers for landowners, the Ponca Tribe, the Nebraska Sierra Club, and the Yankton Sioux disagree. The game is over. They say the pipeline company could amend its application if it was denied, but say there was no denial as a route was approved. There are two votes for denial of all routes. There were three votes to approve a route that is not the subject of this applicant's application before you. Opponents also say TransCanada cannot move forward with the project because their original application didn't inform landowners or do enough research on the alternative route. Did it tell the people in those counties, yeah, we're going to put a pipeline to your home, that's what we want to do. That's a problem that cannot be fi fixed after the fact of the amended application. The opposition also brought up further concerns about the social, cultural, and environmental impact of the pipeline even on the mainline alternative route. TransCanada says if it can amend its application, that will be dealt with. We think the best time to address any such issues is now instead of later or down the road in a new application filed by Keystone. Now we wait for the Public Service Commission to decide whether or not TransCanada can amend their application and move forward with the project. Bailey Bischoff with the update for us tonight. Thank you, Bailey.